stuff. So, John, about the laptop. Um... You know, I'm the first guy who'd resort to stealing from anyone, anyone but her. But in a way, that almost makes it more enticing. But in another way, maybe I tell her, getting her good graces. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll do just that. Then she remember my name has an H in it. She always spells it J-O-N. Oh, Bruce, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel bad. It's just, it's just splitting me down the middle. On the one hand, there's you. And then on the other, there's Harley. Just thinking about her makes me feel like I'm Loading. She's the most intriguing creature ever to grace me with a demeaning insult. Which is great, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I, I want more, Bruce. Like you and Catwoman. I'm only a little ashamed to say that dance had my pulse pounding. What's your relationship with her? Your real one? Catwoman and I are... What we have is a little tangled up. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be that tangled up with Harley. <sighs> if only Harley saw me. Like, really saw me. The world's a crazy place, isn't it? I want Harley, and you want the laptop. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. I help you with Harley. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You're up to bat then, Wayne. What did you do to make Catwoman purr? How can I get that with Harley? How can I make her see me? You just need to be genuine. You're special, John. She just needs to see that. So, be myself. I hear that a lot, but how can I be myself if I don't really know who that is yet? How did you know who you are, Bruce? Learning who you are is a process. People are always changing. <laughs> I've done things recently that I never thought I'd do, but here we are. I guess you're right. Constantly evolving. I can feel someone a few layers deep, pacing like an animal in a cage, just looking for something to start it. The prison break. Hey, that's who you really are. You shouldn't suppress it. But I, I'm quite scrambled. Hey, that's what I like about you. And I bet that's what Harley will like too. How does that even work? Bond with her. Lend a hand with a problem she has. I don't know, Bruce. I have a tough time just talking to her. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's play pretend. Uh, what? You be Harley. Say something Harley would say. That laptop is for my eyes only. Oh, I see what you're doing. You want to talk about the laptop, okay. But I want to talk about Harley. We made a deal. She would say something like that, though. Okay, now say something, uh, date-like. Like we're out painting the town red. Hi, John. I like hiking. Do you like the outdoors? Boys, you love me! What do you think? Pretty good, right? Okay, so you're coming off just a little bit desperate. And women like that? No, none. Okay, hit me. Another. What was your favorite thing about Arkham Puddin'? For me, it was Sloppy Joe Fridays. Bruce! This is just uncanny. Okay, okay. 
Here we go. I enjoyed the lights. They had a hum to them. Felt like a blanket. Fuzzy, even. I miss that on the outside. It, it doesn't feel as real here, you know? Out here, chaos seems to rule the day. It's loud and uneven. But you, Harley, you thrive on it. I could learn from that because I thrive on you. You're my light outside of Arkham. It's beautiful, John. She'll be eating out of your hand in no time. Y you think? I, I don't know. It, it felt weird to say. I really think I'm getting the hang of this. I'll start the next one. Your face has all the adequate face-like qualities one looks for in, uh, in a face. Harley, I lobbed you a perfect pitch. You gonna swing or what? John, sorry, something just came up. Uh, it's business. I have to run. So soon? It's, it's fine. A for effort, Bruce. I guess I won't go tattling to Harley. So, will you help me get the laptop? Gosh, Bruce. Our talk really got me fired up to find myself. My true self. Plus, your Harley is spot on. Oh, you drive a hard bargain, mister. Wait. Jeez. Oh, okay, let me mull over the logistics. But I'm in. Meet me back at the subway when you're done with your business. And because we're pals, coffee's on my dime. Bruce?